Okay, we've got a Napa battery charger. An all-in-one dealie. It's a pretty nice design because the uh, cables that are over here connect into the uh, actual body housing of this battery charger. So you can just slide them into there, which is a really nice design. We've got a Noco Genius that is also good, but it's just the device. You can't actually store it in itself, which, you know, when you're using things over and over again is a nice, nice thing to have. So this thing has a charging rate button, so you can change between 3 amps and 15 amps. It's got battery type. Right now, we're, at, we're on a standard battery. I'm showing 38% charges. Now you can't see that on the screen, but it is saying 38. And yeah, just helping up her battery here. I was doing some work and left the car doors open for a long time, causing the battery to drain. So we're gonna charge this up and then get things started again. Okay, so I started charging the vehicle on a uh, this Napa. Napa charger, which is not bad. It's showing percentage is 90%. I don't know if you can read that, but it says 90%, 12 volts. I put it on 15 amps, and that sure charged it pretty quick. If I put it back to 3.3 .3 amps, and then we'll see if it changes back to percentage. Saying 12.8 volts, I think it's dropping the volts slowly. Sometimes it takes a little bit for the percentage to show. Anyways, I doubt it's got the 98% from 42 in like just a few minutes. But anyway, we're going to take this one off. So I'm going to start by unplugging it down here. I always get to unplug it first. And then we'll remove black. So this is a Sprinter van, so it's got its own special way of attaching chargers or to boost a car or van. You can pull this thing in. Okay, we're switching out the battery from the, ba the Napa battery charger to the Noco Genius. Reason being, this one does reparative charging. So our battery ran a little low, we're doing some work on the van and I am going to connect this on before I before I plug this in. So now I've connected the battery and I'm going to plug it in. And there. Now you're going to see a bunch of displays. This doesn't have a digital display, it'll probably be a little easier to see. But what it'll do is it'll start to assess with level, the state of the battery. So you can kind of see it will ramp up. It's got a flashing low light there. And so it's already registering the battery. So if you press mode, you can switch between 12 volt, 12 volt active glass matrix or lithium. And we're gonna go back to 12 volt and it should eventually repair into the 12 volt. So I'm just gonna leave this here. We'll come back in a bit once it's charged. Just a side note, you don't need that ba Napa battery charger if you have the NOCO Genius 10. Uh, Truthfully, we just couldn't find where we had put it, so we put on that battery charger first, but now that we found it, we want that repair ability versus just the charging ability. This is definitely a superior device. Okay, so this is uh, Noco Genius unplugging. Basically, it's full at this point because you can see the uh, flashing green and again, it's still on a 12 volt setting. 12 volt. 
and just a standard 12 volt not AGM or lithium and uh, it hasn't gone into any of these repair statuses or supply statuses so everything seems good I've always been told the best thing to do is take the ground off first and then take this off and that's it just unplug it and start the van <laughs>